Hey everyone, this is Gypsy. I'm finally free. After eight years behind bars for her mother's murder, Gypsy Rose Blanchard, now a free woman. Hey everyone, Happy New Year's Eve. And right back in the spotlight, speaking out for the first time on her newly created social media accounts. I just want to send a quick video to thank everyone for the massive amount of support that I've been getting on social media. Um, everyone has been really, really nice. That massive support earning her 6 million followers on TikTok and close to another 6 million on Instagram in less than a week, posting her first selfie since out of prison, photos of her wedding ring, kissing her husband, Ryan Anderson, who she married while in prison, and promoting her upcoming Lifetime series and ebook. It's more of my reflection of everything that I've learned um, and experienced in the last eight and a half years. Gypsy Rose, perhaps the most famous victim of what's known as Munchausen by proxy. Authorities say her mom, Dee Dee Blanchard, falsely claimed that Gypsy Rose suffered from leukemia, asthma, and muscular dystrophy, confining her to a wheelchair and subjecting her to multiple unnecessary surgeries over a span of nearly two decades. Things are not always as they appear. But things took a turn in 2015 when prosecutors say Gypsy Rose and her then boyfriend, Nicholas Godijohn, hatched a plot to kill her mother. I played a part in asking him to commit the murder. The two were arrested and charged with murder, Gypsy Rose taking a plea deal, while Godijohn went to trial and received life in prison. Now, as Gypsy Rose celebrates her freedom, she's revealing her side. I will finally share my story the way that it should be shared. Wow. Um, so somehow the doctors in the hospital were performing medical procedures on her. Mm. Is there any way that she can sue those doctors? It's one thing if your mother did something, but the doctors went through with the procedures. You know, the more you learn about this case, you realize just how disturbing it is. This went on for years, yeah. right? She had a feeding tube at one point, and oh. you wonder how in the world Ow. could the doctors yeah. have missed the signs? It really is a symptom of her falling through the cracks, if you think about it. So she could try at this point now civil claims against the doctors, but honestly, Hoda, I don't think it's going to work so long after the fact. Mm. There are statute of limitations, yeah. there are other evidentiary obstacles. I think it's just a sad, sad tale. Mm. Yeah, it is indeed. All right, Laura Jarrett. Laura, good to see you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.